Good morning, socialites. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mostly beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today is going to be a very much requested video, which is my morning skincare routine. I'm going to break this up into two separate videos because I do a different routine for my skin than I do at night. So sometimes, well, oftentimes, whenever I go out uh, and I don't want to wear makeup, my makeup is skincare. I do a different skincare for daytime that just sort of gives me more of that sort of glowy skin look, but not overly glowy to where you look super greasy and just something that makes my skin look just very awake and bright and a bit youthful. So we're gonna start off with, with cleansers. I'm gonna show you the two different cleansers that I use. The main cleanser that I use is the SkinScript Raspberry Refining Cleanser. Now this isn't something that you can like pick up in a store, I don't think. I actually ordered this from my esthetician. She put me onto this about a year and a half ago, and so I order it through her. But I do have a link to where you guys can order this. This one is the uh, Raspberry Refining Cleanser. It has 2% salicylic and 2% glycolic with tea tree. This one's really good and surprisingly gentle, you guys. So this is my gentle cleanser. This is the cleanser that I probably use about 95% of the time. I use this for daytime and nighttime, but obviously we're gonna be talking about my daytime skincare routine today. So I'm gonna go in and about that much is how much I use. And I usually put it on while my skin is dry. And then I go down to wash my skin. Now I do wash my face with cold water. So when I first started, and what this does is shrink my pores and help my skin look smoother and pore free. So I did start off like using room temperature water and then I just gradually went sort of colder and colder and now I'm used to it. So let me lather this up. Okay. So another thing I really like about this is how well it lathers, you guys. It lathers like a literal drink. Why I didn't cover up my edges, I don't know. <laughs> sort of put the cart before the horse, but I'm gonna have to cover it up in a second. But it lathers so well, it's so creamy. It does a deep cleansing, but at the same time, it's gentle. This is one of the best facial cleansers that I've used, you guys. I absolutely love it. It's like that super clean feeling, but it doesn't make your skin like that squeaky clean to where your skin feels dry. You still feel like you have moisture to your skin and there's no barrier that leaves no films on your skin. It just feels clean and not super drying like some cleansers tend to do. So now I'm gonna rinse this off with cold water. Okay, so I do want to add that I do pat dry my skin with some sort of paper towel or something like that, uh, but I don't really like to use towels on my face. If I do use a towel on my face, I only use it once um, just because of the bacteria that may be left or any particles on your skin from reusing a towel. I don't reuse towels, so I just prefer to pat dry, I just keep a roll of um, paper towels in my bathroom and I just sort of pat dry. Now, let me tell you guys about another cleanser that I use. This one is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. You guys, I've been using this for over 10 years now. This one's really good. I use this cleanser when my skin is having problems. At times I get sort of acne breakouts, like I'm having acne breakouts right now, which is very much hormonal. I have my skin down to like a calendar now, so I know what's going on because I stay on top of it. So around this time of the month, I do get a couple of um, hormonal breakouts, not every single month, but most months. So you see like here, and right here so last night i did do a really good mask on it because like i said i know you know like clockwork i'm gonna get a couple little acne breakouts but by the next month it's all cleared up during my when i do the nighttime skincare routine i'm gonna explain to you guys what i do for that but 
but this is really good if you have like problematic skin, acne skin, um, super oily skin. But when my skin is doing well like it is now, I don't like to use this because it can become too drying. If you don't need this, it will be too drying. And when you use it, you'll know it just gets sort of dry. But when you have that problematic, super oily skin, this is a really, really good. So next is toner. For toner, I use the Caudalie Veno Clean Toner. You see, I went through this. This is my second bottle of this. I really like this toner. It's also gentle. And like I said, when I'm not having like acne problems, I like to use something more gentle um, that doesn't just strip everything from my skin. And then when I do have sort of those acne breakouts every now and again, I use the Skin Script. This is another product I get through my esthetician. I'll have the link down below. The glycolic and retinol pads is for skin brightening with Kojic and Arbitin, okay? And it looks like this. It has sort of a weird smell that I'm not crazy about, but they're really good. If you don't need these, don't use it. This is, I only use these for like my acne breakouts or if say I've picked in my face and you know I, it develops the hyperpigmentation where it gets dark, like you can see those little spots right there. That's what I use these for. So the Caudalie, and I just sort of put some drops on a clean cotton pad and And then the glycolic wipe. So I like to use this for like any hyperpigmentation or if I have any acne that pops up. So I hit this side of my face, see that discoloration? I hit this side and then I have a little hyperpigmentation right at the tip of my brow. And then where I, that little pimple popped up yesterday, I get that area there. And that's all that I hit with the glycolic wipes because gly these glycolic wipes are not gentle at all. So I just use them for my problematic areas and it usually clears up whatever I have going on, it, even the hyperpigmentation like within a month. So when my next cycle rolls around, it's clear already. So I do not use this all over ever. So for morning time serum, my go-to when I'm going out and I'm going somewhere and I just wanna look like I have just that fresh, glowy, beautiful skin, I like to go in with the Glow Recipe Water Glow Nicinamide Dew Drops. Now these dew drops are super popular and for very, very good reason. I originally got this in like a set with the, like the Glow Recipe set that had several products and I fell in love with a lot of them but this is really really good I have a bunch like in this size so I hadn't had to buy the bigger size yet I'm waiting on the Sephora sale for that you guys so make sure to save this video because the annual Sephora spring sale is starting on April the 14th so if you're interested in any of these products just save it that way when the sale starts you guys can get that savings so this one just gives me that super glowy look as far as serum goes. I really like this one. Sometimes I use the Caudalie Beno Source Hydra Serum. Now I, I usually use one serum at a time until it's gone. This one's empty, so I'll be picking this up at the sale. So I'll usually use one serum until the bottle's done and then I'll switch to something else. This one is really gentle and good. Makes your skin look so clear and radiant. I love it. And sometimes I've told you guys about this one several times. This one is the Sunday Riley CEO Brightening Serum. Makes your skin look very bright and radiant. Not super, super glowy, but you get a glow and it's nice and radiant. Top tier product right here. And so this is a product, like I said, I'll use the whole bottle before I switch to back to like this or this. So currently I'm using this. And if I know I'm not gonna be in the house for the day and I'm gonna be going out, I definitely use this one. So one drop is all you need. And it has a watermelon smell. I'm not a fan of watermelon or the scent of watermelon, especially this has like a synthetic-y watermelon scent, which I'm not crazy about. I don't like watermelon nor the smell, but this is so good. <laughs> that I just, you know, I'm able to bypass that part because this product is really, really good. I get so many compliments when I'm out as far as my skin is concerned. Lots of comp compliments 
about my skin. And like I said, when I go out, it's always this one because I know it just gives me that look, you know? So not only is this a good product, I use this because of the look it gives me. I really like to press my products into the areas where I know I'm developing fine lines, like my smile lines. Here, I don't have crow's feet, but you know, I go in here. Also, you guys, I failed to tell you that I also like to use the Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. So sometimes when I don't use the Cotyle Toner, I'll use this toner from Glow Recipe that I got in that little kit there, which this one is really good too. This is my second one. Like I said, I got a bunch of the small sizes, so I'll probably pick up a full size of this during the Sephora sale, but this is good too. I like to use this together with the serum that I just put on the Dew Drops. So for daytime moisturizer, there's a few daytime moisturizers that I highly recommend. So let's talk about them. One of my favorite is the Origin Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is really good. This one is brightening as well, but more so it gives you more of that awake look. When you put this moisturizer on, you just look like bright and just... It just like radiates your skin and makes you look a lot more awake. So try this one out. It has ginseng in it. I love it. Now for the morning skin time routine where I'm not going out, when I just want to pack my skin with moisture because I know I'm going to be around the house cleaning up or editing videos and I know I'm not going to be leaving the house, I use the Confidence in a Cream from It Cosmetics. You guys, this one is really, really good and I do highly recommend this product. But like I said, it's super, super moisturizing, one of those thicker ones. So I don't necessarily wear this when I'm going out because I'm in Houston and it's super humid out here. Let me show you how this one looks. It's just really thick and plush. Also, let me show you how the Origins one looks. So this one is a lot thinner a lot thinner of a, of a product, so it's not super thick. It's a little bit more wearable for going out. Another one that I really like that I've told you guys about several times is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin Rich Hydration Cream. You guys, these Sunday Riley products are super, <laughs> these Sunday Riley products are expensive, but I'm telling you for good reason. This is another thicker, more rich, plush, uh, products. It does have a, a good amount of vitamin C in it. This is a thicker one. Like I said, a little bit of this goes a very long way. I do wear this one out sometimes. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. It does give me a little bit of a greasier look, but for those days that I just want to pack more hydration, I don't mind because it's not as super, super thick as the It Cosmetics one, but this one's really good too. I highly recommend this one. And another one I just want to mention is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a good everyday uh, cream. As you can see, it's sort of that pouncy more. Now, this is a lightweight one. It's not super, super thick. You can kind of see through it, sort of a gel thinner gelatin, but it's really good and it keeps that hydration. This is a good one to go out with because you don't have to worry about, about it looking so super glossy. So for today, since I'll be going out, I'm going in with the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. And it smells good. It smells fresh, a little citrusy, and it feels so plush and amazing on the skin. Now, some days, you guys, I do use um, eye patches under my eyes when I wake up. But I do that like every other, other day, and I did it yesterday, so I'm going to skip today. But I've told you guys about that before, and they've been on my favorites. I'll put the link right there, and it is the Mary Kay Under Eye Patches. I do store them in the refrigerator because I like them to be cold on my face, and I just sit them right here for 20 minutes, you know, drink my coffee, and then I'll come back and finish my skincare routine. So see how it's like just like a nice, healthy, radiant glow? I love that. Next, let's talk about eye cream. So I just got a package. This is from Clinique, you guys. So Clinique recently had their 30% off sale, which is even better than the Sephora sale when it rolls around. The most you can get is 20%. So I did order one product. Ooh, that's some nice packaging. Okay, so in my opinion, this is the best 
under eye cream on the market. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. I don't have wrinkles, but this one is a game changer. I was gonna pick this up at the last Sephora sale, but the sales rep did encourage me to pick up the Beauty Bio, the eyeliner concentrate, you guys. And this one, I'm just gonna be honest. You guys know I don't like to talk bad about products because from having, first of all, first of all, for those who don't know, I am a professional makeup artist. I've been doing makeup for over 15 years. I've worked for NARS, I've worked for MAC Cosmetics, and I've been a freelancer as well. And I know because of that in the training with them, I know that products that may not work for me may work for somebody else. But this one, I just didn't see a difference. When I put it on, it does have this little cooling tip, the metal tip, but how my under eye looks now, when you put it on, I don't see a difference. And I'm all about products that when I use it, I see any immediate difference. You know, like I see, okay, this does make a difference on my skin and I did not experience, and I've used it like at least 15 times and I really, you know, it adds moisture, but that's it. No brightening, no lifting, no, it's just very basic in my opinion. Let me show you guys how it looks. There's another one that's purple like this from Clinique that's really good too. I would recommend either one of them work phenomenal. This is what it looks like. It has this little top on it and this is the cream here which is really good. A little bit goes a long way. This is pretty much all you need for one eye. Another one that's really, really good is the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus. This is the other one I was telling you guys about. So, so good. I used it down to the last drop. It's empty, so I'll be repurchasing this one as well during the Sephora sale. Absolutely love it. Another under eye cream that's really good. Now, this is a more super thick plushy one, but it instantly brightens under your eye is what came in that Glow Recipe kit, which is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Under Eye Cream really good really thick it just feels luxurious on your skin and it just instantly brightens i absolutely love that so i'm gonna go in with the clinique one and i'll put it on my eyelid too Super creamy, but not like super thick like the um, Glow Recipe one. It's like just right. Y'all, when I tell you instantly brightens, I feel like the phone is not picking it up. But when I look to the side in the mirror, it's just like so bright and lifted. These under eye creams are life, you guys. This is, if I had to say pick one product out of everything that you have, if you had to buy one product out of all the products that I'm showing you today, just to switch something up in your skincare routine, this would be the one that I recommend. But like I said, you could get this one. Either one is really good. Everything I'm using today, I'll link down in the description box. And I'll try to link according to who has the best price. I'm going to check and see if Clinique still has the 30% off. If they are, I'm going to do a link for Clinique's website. But if they don't have the 30% off, I'm going to link it for Sephora. That way, when the sale starts on April the 14th, you guys can get it at the discounted rate. So last is going to be lip care, you guys. I can't finish it off without highly moisturizing my lips. So these are the two that I currently use. This one has just been my sort of long time staple that is life. This is the... CEO Bigelow, my favorite night balm. It's an eight hour overnight recovery, but I use it at night or during the day. You guys, absolutely everything. Doesn't dry your lips out. Um, it doesn't cause the little white stuff in the side of your mouth. It's thick, but not crazy thick. Stays on there without sort of drying up on your lips. If you don't touch it, it's sort of gonna soften the lips and really penetrate really good. So good, really, really love this one. And you guys, honestly, this is when I just go. I go, I don't add any concealer on my 
skin or anything like that. Now, if I'm leaving out to go to Target and I know I'm just, I might stop at the mall or something, I may put on a little mascara. I may put a little concealer on those spots, but most of the time it's like this and I go. I do so many foundation reviews, you guys, which can be hard on the skin, trying so many different products. You know, most people stick to one or two foundations and they have like that routine that they don't deviate from, but I do a ton of reviews testing out products. And so when I'm not in front of the camera, I do like to highly pack my skin with moisture and good things, good skincare in my skin to go out in the elements. I definitely don't ever want to leave the house without these barriers on my skin. Like I said, because I'm in front of the camera so much and trying out so many products. So another one that I recommend is, I've been using this maybe about a month or so now, is the Fenty Skin. This is the plush pudding, you guys. So it, it twists off and it looks like this. You turn the bottom and it sort of comes out if you guys can see it. And this is a super thick, it's one of those super thick ones, almost like a mask on the skin. And it's just really, really good too. I highly recommend it. I'll link this one down below in the description box as well. Comment down below and let me know what are some of the products that are staples in your skincare routine? What are some of the products that you highly recommend that you're like, okay, I would never deviate from, from this product. You swear by this product. Comment it in the description box and let me know because there are a few products that I've had my eye on. And also I have gotten PR from some companies that have some, supposed to have some really good skincare as well that I'll be starting to try out within the next couple of weeks. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. If you enjoyed this video or videos like this, give me a big thumbs up. That way YouTube knows that you like this video and they can push it out to more people. I am on a mission to hit 15K, you guys. We are trying to grow. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. Too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars Well I don't have the answers